Hey guys, how you doing today? This is Chris here from LARPing Ogres of Michigan .com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a frog. This works for wooden swords and all other kinds of stuff. This is the frog you'll be making. A frog is essentially just a little holder that you can put your weapons into. It's similar to a sheath. So uh, this is what uh, this is a Nerf mace. I love this thing. Open some butt. Now I'm just going to be explaining this one today. I'm not going to actually show you because I don't have enough time and uh, I already have one. I only need one right now. Okay, so basically what you're going to do is find a container. This one is actually a tin can, like a uh, raviolis and stuff. I think this one was peaches, not important. Anyways, you're going to need a tin can if you're doing this one exactly. Some type of fabric. This is denim. Uh, some old blue jeans, hockey tape, scissors, hot glue, Elmer's glue, and something to cut your can. Now you don't have to use a can, that's just what I had laying around and it's perfect size for the mace. I'm actually thinking about using a Powerade bottle, I think that'd be cool with the shape. Essentially you'll be doing the same thing and I'll show you guys how to, I'll explain how to do this. Okay, first thing you do is remove the top and bottom from your can, or if you're using a bottle like this, just uh, cut off the top just as it kind of curls and then uh, same down here for like a ring right here. So you'll basically get a cylinder. That's what you're looking for. Next, decide where you want it. If you want it on your back um, or your belt, it's going to make a huge difference because here are the slits right here that your belt is going to go through. Uh, this one is for my belt on my waist. So what I did was I took the cylinder and uh, held it up about straight, took the belt and I wanted it angled a bit. So I did it just like that, and then I marked it right there, and right up here, two straight lines. That way when you slip it over, it will go on, on an angle. Now that you uh, marked your can, go ahead and cut about uh, a quarter of an inch slit on that line. You want it to be a, a little wider than your belt, so if your belt is this thick, make your slit like that thick, okay? Next, once you cut the slits out, kind of bend it, so that way you have a, a raised edge, okay? Instead of just a slit, you'll have a raised edge, and uh, that's very important. Next, take your hockey, hockey tape and cut about an, uh, two inches worth of uh, tape. You'll probably need about 12 pieces of this size. And what you do is you take it and you slip it into the slot, like just like you would your belt. Make sure the sticky side is facing the can, and then fold it over like this, I'll show you. Pull it through similar like you would with the belt. If you can see here, I have a piece in this hand and I have a piece over here. And just fold it over on both sides like that, okay? And that's on the inside as well. Do that all the way around the edges so that way you prevent slicing up your belt or whatever you're using to hold it. Next, measure out your fabric. You're gonna want it to fold over this edge and into the cup uh, at least an inch. Take this, add an inch for this, add an inch for here, and then cut your fabric accordingly. And you're gonna want it to wrap all the way around and then also you'll want it to overlap here so you can fold the edge and you'll have a nice seam. Next, cover your fabric or can in the Elmer's glue and wrap it around your can and fold over this fold over this edge right here so that way you have this nice lip. You're gonna want your hot glue gun hot and ready for about this time. And then once you get that down, pull it tight, pull it over, and then hot glue it. The hot glue is just basically to hold it so that way the Elmer's glue has time to dry. You could use tape if you don't have a hot glue gun, but the hot glue gun works off. Next, you'll want to uh, fold it in. Just go ahead and roll in the fabric just like this and uh, put some hot glue on it real fast and push it down. Do that uh, as much as you can on the inside. Do it for both sides. Now you're probably thinking, Chris, what the heck? I covered up these slits right here. Don't worry. Remember how I had you uh, fold out the uh, can there? Just go ahead and feel around until you feel the slits. Kind of mark it up and cut it with your scissors. Um, now when you're gluing, make sure you don't put a ton of glue in this area. Now you'll have a horrible looking slit like this and one like that. Once the glue dries, you can choose to go back over it with tape like this again, which would be very nice, or you can just leave it and it works just fine. The reason I said you can put this on your back is because instead of cutting your slits like this, if you cut them like this, you could just slip your belt in like that and throw it over your shoulder. The problem with that is that if uh, you do do it like that, your belt's gonna, this is gonna slide up and down your belt. So what you're gonna need to do 
just in between the slits you cut, you're gonna need to put like a bolt or something, um, something that won't damage your weapon and won't damage other people's weapons when they're getting hit. All right, now, if you uh, wish, I'm gonna end up spray painting this because I think the denim looks ridiculous with my outfit. All right, any questions, just go ahead and comment down below. If you've been doing any of my projects, please take a picture or a video and post it, respond it, send it to me a message. I'd love to see what you guys are doing with my information. Thanks guys, and be sure to subscribe.